to high school basketball here on Country 93.1. Steve Catholic Central Crusaders on the road today with a record of three and three. We are over at Covenant Christian High School. And everybody is getting ready. Uh, we got all the student body standing up. Standing up, they're getting excited for that first basket and they're jumping up and down just like they do it at Duke. <laughs> Ben Norman for Covenant Christian wearing white going right to left against Kari Campbell wearing all green for Muskegon Catholic and an easy jump ball for Norman at six foot four winning that one over. Wonder who quickly gets it over for Norman now back over to Jared Norman and in the corner they go to Captain. Captain back up top to Mitterhood. Mitterhood guarded by Jesse Anderson. Drops it off, coming down the right-hand side as Captain will kick it out on the right corner. Three ball bouncing around out of the hands of Jared Norman, and here comes Mesquite and Catholic back the other way. Callow gets it to John Daniel in the right corner. Daniel thought about a three. Instead, they transition it back over from Jesse Anderson back up top to Adam Callow. Back to Daniel. Back to Jesse Anderson. He's going to launch a three ball. That one bounces off the front of the rim. Rebound pulled down by Captain. Here comes coming at Christian back the other way. Captain, six foot four, a big guy, but he is very comfortable with the ball in his hands. Now gets it over to Minderhoud. Minderhoud back in the right corner. Captain with it again, makes a move, goes to the basket, and check that. That was Ben Norman with the reverse for coming at Christian. They take an early two to nothing lead. A little Steen bit Cath of hang time on that one too. Steen Catholic broke a press, but the ball taken away. Here comes Ben Norman the other way, going one on three, and a player control foul called as he knocked over Adam Callow on the way to the basket. It'll be Muskegon Catholic ball. Nice job by Adam Callow holding his ground and getting that offensive foul. Quickly a press, produces a turnover and an easy two for Jerry Mitterhoud. And it's a 4-0 lead for Covenant Christian. Muskegon Catholic breaks through the press this time. Jesse Anderson going to launch a three ball from the right side, misses that one. Rebound pulled down by Covenant. Here comes Captain the other way for Covenant Christian. Sends it back up top for Alex Dykstra. Back for Brandon cap time. Up top now, Jared Norman with it. Norman makes a move, goes down the right side toward the basket. They kick it back out, send it around. Ben Norman's got it at the top now. Ben Norman makes a move into the paint. Jesse Anderson knocked it away by the foul called on uh, Muskegon Catholic. Foul will be Covenant Christians under the basket. 6-11 left to go here in the first quarter. Four to nothing, Covenant with an early lead. Muskegon Catholic is playing a man-to-man. -man. They're very aggressive and they are uh, got a lot of energy right now. Uh, Covenant Christians playing the zone and not a little press after they score. Cap time off the inbounds, takes it into the paint, kicks it back out top for Mitterhoud. Mitterhoud over to Jared Norman. Jared drops it off for Alex Dykstra to the basket, lays it up, lays it in, six to nothing, an early lead for the Chargers. And right back to the full court press. Coming back is Brant McCollum. He'll take this one up for Muskegon Catholic and he hit double dribbled on his way in. With 5.47 left to go here in the first quarter. Muskegon Catholic down six to nothing. Covenant Christian, good start, and they have the ball in their hands. A little indecision there by Brand as he was coming down the court. He was coming about uh, to the arc and uh, just wasn't quite sure if he wanted to shoot it or pass it, and uh, turned the ball over. Jared Norman brings it up. Covenant Christian will swing it around. Alex Dykstra now back up top. Three ball off the mark, rebound, pulled down by McCollum. That three ball off the hands of Captain. And here come the Crusaders. Back the other way, Adam Callow with the ball. Covenant Christian is playing a matchup zone, and they're talking really well. They're communicating, and they're hustling. Uh, of course, Catholic can have that outside three-point shot anytime they want. And Jesse's had, uh, Jesse Anderson had two of them. Crusaders working it in. A rebound pulled down by Kari Campbell, and he's got an easy two to get Muskegon Catholic on the board here. 5.03 left to go in the first quarter play. Good pressure defense applied by Jesse Anderson, but he's going to get whistled for a foul as he was pounding Mitterhood. And a second foul of the game for Mesquite Catholic. First for Jesse Anderson. Exactly five minutes to go here in the first quarter. Catholic is going on a press on the outside. Jesse Anderson just hounding that point guard who's a sophomore, and he gets him to turn the ball over. There's that good defense by Jesse. Mitterhau dribbled that one right off his leg. Here comes Muskegon Catholic back the other way. Ball into the hands of Adam Calla with 4.50 left to go. Here in the first quarter, the Crusaders down four. It's six to two. Quick entry pass to McCollum. Finds Kari Campbell on the baseline. Campbell's going to dribble that one back up top to John Daniel. Daniel over for Jesse Anderson. Gets it right back on the right wing. Cross-court pass over to Calla. Back up top now. Anderson with it over to Daniel again. 
Back to Anderson. Crusaders trying to penetrate this zone. They'll kick it back out. Taking it to the basket is Callow. Nice move, but he missed it off the board. And here comes Covenant back the other way. Quick great up. patience. Great patience by Catholic. They're moving that ball, reversing the ball twice, and getting a good, almost a layup on that shot, but he missed it. Covenant Christian working against Muskegon Catholic. Dykstra oh. takes it into the paint off the left hand, lays it up and lays it in. 8-2 lead for Covenant Christian. Here comes Catholic back the other way. Kari Campbell leading the charge, goes right into the paint, right to the basket, lays it up and in. That's a way to break the press. Wow. Great, great uh, penetration by Kari. Here comes Jared Norman back the other way for Covenant Christian. Sends it off on the left-hand side for Captain. Captain in the corner for Mitterhout, and he nails a three ball. 11 to four, Covenant Christian with a seven point lead, 337 to go here in the first quarter. Catholic breaks through the press, tried to get a cross court pass and Captain made a great job to knock that pass out of bounds, went hard into uh, for Wall at the end of the court. He's all right. This Covenant team is really, really inspired tonight. They're really playing great hustling ball and they're cutting through the back. Uh, if you could just see the offense here, all you listeners, they, they, they keep guys cutting through to the middle and they're getting some great shots. Great Jordan, block. Jordan inbounds it to Brant McCollum. His shot is blocked and Covenant coming back the other way. Alex Dykstra with it. Sends a cross court pass to Jared Norman and Callow's going to pick that one off. Here he comes, lays it for Lamar Jordan. Jordan had that shot blocked. Rebound bouncing around and they're going to call up. foul over the back on Adam Callow. And Coach Lamar Jordan would have liked to have seen a foul called in favor of his son right there. Callow broke that press, and uh, he had a three-on-one and ended up uh, getting the ball to uh, the coach's son, and uh, he took a shot that was that went high. I don't even know if it hit the backboard or uh, or the rim. 3.13 left to go here in the first quarter. 11-4. to four. Muskegon Catholic trails Covenant Christian right now. Jared Norman bringing it up for Covenant. Now they get it over for Jared Kamiga. Kamiga has his pocket pick. Here comes Callow back the other way. Takes it right to the basket. Missed the layup. Lamar Jordan with a rebound. He got blocked. Callow gets it. He gets knocked down hard, but he'll have two free throws coming up. Boy, a great effort by Muskegon Catholic getting uh, three shots there, and Callow's going to end up here with a, with a free throw. Uh, Adam playing great defense, stole the ball, and went on down, and Muskegon Catholic are hopefully going to convert here, and they do. Uh, so Adam Callow hits his first free throw. 2.54 left to go in the first quarter. One more free throw coming up for Callow. Todd Hall is going to check into the game for Muskegon Catholic. Hall is their biggest player. Obviously, Lamar Jordan, as we mentioned, has checked into the game as well for the Crusaders. Callow misses the second free throw. Rebound pulled down by Ben Norman. And here come the Chargers back the other way. Mitterhout has it. Sends it back up top for Jared Norman. Jared into the corner for his cousin Ben. Now a cross-court pass. And they'll swing it around for Jared Norman in the left corner. He hits a three ball. 14 to five, nine point lead for Covenant Christian. Right off the press, Callow gets fouled and an MCC ball out of bounds. Well, you know, we talked about the three point shot, how, how cold they were all season long. And uh, Covenant Christian tonight is just coming out and they're sizzling here with, uh, I think they have two or three threes already. And uh, they're, they're very confident. A couple three pointers in the books for Covenant Christian. 2.32 left to go here in the first quarter. They lead Muskegon Catholic by nine. The Crusaders break the press. Kari Campbell kicks it off for Lamar Jordan. Baseline jumper, that is short. Rebound pulled down by Norman, Ben Norman. And here comes Covenant right back the other way. Mitterhout has it. Back for Ben Norman. Now into the right corner, he finds Blyenberg. Blyenberg trying to shed John Daniel. Drops it back for Ben Norman. Long baseline jump shot, rims out. Rebound pulled down by Adam Callow. Callow dribbles through two Covenant Christian defenders. Gets it knocked away, but right into the hands of all. He finds John Daniel, three, ball from the corner. He missed, a little bit long, rebound, chased down. Here comes Covenant back the other way. Kamiga gets it up for Blyenberg. Blyenberg back for Kamiga, another three ball, air ball on that one, but it went right into the hands of Jared Norman, who finds his cousin Ben up top. Ben through the lane with a left hand scoop, and a two, 16 to five. Covenant Christian off to a great start here against Muskegon Catholic, but here comes Kari Campbell back the other way. And Campbell's going to get called. Player control foul. Yeah, he got an offensive foul on, Car on Kari. Uh, he, he came up the middle after breaking the press. Uh, Campbell takes the ball out, uh, passes it, and then cuts right uh, right to the middle of the court in the back court against that press. Gets the ball, and he broke it with all the dribble all the way down, and then uh, turns the ball over by 
Uh, an offensive foul. Campbell was looking for a kick ball on that one as he kind of threw an underhand pass looking for Lamar Jordan. Uh, didn't get the call. Really, yeah. in that situation, Matt, what he, what he should do, and I didn't mean to butt in there, but he uh, should have stopped at the free throw line and then uh, passed off, and he went too far, penetrated too far, and got the offensive foul. Covenant Christian working against Muskegon Catholic defense right now. Justin Loinga was all alone up top, tried to pass it in. Ball gets knocked away by Muskegon Catholic. There's a scrum back in the Covenant end, and the Chargers come away with it. Good effort there, and Jared Kamiga will bring this ball back up. Off on the right wing, he's got Austin Brower. Brower finds a man on the left side. That is Justin Loinga. Loinga thought about it. Instead, he'll drop it off. And setting things back up is Kamiga. Kamiga pressured by Lamar Jordan. Back for Brower. Now back up top. Loinga with it. Loinga. Being pressured by John Hall. Picks up his dribble. Drops it back off. That's Brower with it again. Brower. Finds a man open. It's cap time from the left corner for a three. Rebound is off the mark, and finally it comes down to Lamar Jordan. And here come the Crusaders. Down by 11, 16 to 5. 30 seconds left to go here in the first quarter of play. Adam Callow finds Lamar Jordan on the left wing. Now back up top to Callow. They'll swing it back around for Jordan on the left side. Launches one. A short rebound. Covenant had it in their hands and stepped out of bounds. So a Crusader ball on the baseline with 14 and a half seconds to go here in the first quarter. Well, you know what Lamar Jordan wants. He wants that ball to go more inside, but Covenant, with their zone, is cutting off the inside really well. They're really moving back from side to side and the ball is reversed. And the skiing Catholic is not getting the ball inside at all. They're only on transition uh, against that press. Lamar Jordan inbounds from the baseline for MCC. Finds Callow on the left wing. He's going to launch a three ball way long off the mark. Rebound comes down. Coming back the other way is Covenant Christian. Blyenberg has it. Sends it back up top. They'll swing it around for Austin Brower. Brower's going to launch a long three ball. Air ball. And that'll be how the first quarter ends. But all in all, Covenant Christian's going to happily take that one. They have a 16 to 5 lead. As we head to the second quarter of play, we will take a one-minute break and be back with more here on Country 93.1.